2.5 million part of LGD trucks today. And the way the growth is expected, this part would probably increase to maybe 5 million or 6 million in the next 3 to 5 years. Currently, these 3.5 million trucks almost emits close to 400 to 450 million tons of CO2 annually. Heavy duty trucking comprises majority of the pollution when it comes to transport. If you look at LNG as a fuel, LNG in an Indian context uh, seems to have the maximum impact in terms of decarbonization. And I'll give you a few pointers just to make my case. I believe that if green trucking or green mobility has to become the order of the day, it has to be on the backdrop of operating economics. The reason why it has to be on the backdrop of operating economics because if the end user is not going to find it equivalent to diesel or better, they are not going to transition because this is a B2B product, not a lifestyle product. Today, LNG trucks in India, and we've been the first uh, to launch uh, India's first LNG truck, and they are currently operating in two locations. If you see, the, we are dropping CO2 by 30%. If you take 450 million tons, and if the industry were to transition into LNG, that's an immediate saving of close to north of 100 million tons, which is dramatic. LNG offers operating cost advantage over diesel today. While the gas prices currently are a bit volatile, given the uh, political and you know what is happening around the world with gas, but we believe that this is going to settle down. On the operating economics, LNG clearly is superior to diesel. Technology is mature and versatile. And uh, last but not the least, uh, the range issue which plagues most of the uh, technologies when we talk about, in one fill we are able to do 1400. Today, we are going to our customers and saying, I don't want you to give me a premium. At the same price of diesel, I will make you go green. Now that is a very bold statement. And we have demonstrated that with our trucks and it's already there. So I think that, you know, if some kind of a lending incentive or a structure by the government can be provided, to the uh, PSUs and all the NBFCs who are funding green vehicles, it gives them the added comfort to move forward to lend. It could be a priority lending, it could be incentivization of the interest, so on and so forth. And the third piece is uh, um, the government can play an active role in incentivizing fleets, stroke corporates to start saying that, look guys, move to green, okay? Whoever starts to build their portfolio of transportation and has maybe a 5% or a 10% move to green fleets, you know, there is an incentive structure built in. So, and last but not the least, I think that, you know, there are, if you can have fiscal advantages in terms of tax or accelerated depreciation, you know, which can move the needle and get everybody in the ecosystem excited about adopting green at a fast pace.